And so the elephant walks in and says, Oh, hi, didn't see you there. Well, welcome along to this video, everyone. This is a follow up video to my uh, previous video, which was talking about how to remove or prevent an ingrown toenail. Uh, it's about, been about a year since I put that video up, and it's had a lot of positive feedback, and it's had 70,000 views, which is pretty good. Uh, so this is a follow-up video. I thought I'd show you a couple of extra things that I've learned in that time, and I'll show you a different technique of how to keep your toenails in good working order. Right, so here are the toes then on my foot. Now I've been trimming them uh, like I showed in the previous video for a couple of years now and I haven't had any problem with ingrown toenails. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to cut this nail um, and show you the best way to cut a nail so that it won't uh, turn into an ingrown toenail. So the problem is um, a lot of people say that if you cut the nails too short you run the risk of getting an ingrown toenail. And so a lot of people will give you the advice that just to grow the toenail out. But the problem is as you start growing it out, you'll find that it will it'll just cut more and more and more and more and it will be extremely painful and you won't be able to walk on that toe while it's, while it's growing out. So what you really need to do is cut that toenail in such a way that it won't actually dig in as it grows out. Now I've let the toenail here grow for a bit and it's just starting to hurt in the corner here. Um, so it's time to trim it up and cut off that corner bit which will be digging in. If you've seen my previous video, you'll see that the problem is that you have a sharp corner down in there that digs into the skin. Um, it's also a problem if you have the wrong type of shoes. I've got rid of the shoes that used to cause my ingrown toenail. And basically what happens is if you've got a force underneath your toe pushing up all the time, uh, it tends to push the skin up a bit and it accentuates the amount of skin that's at the top there kind of digging in to your toe now. So really you want shoes that have got a bit more room up the front uh, for your toe. Particularly you, you don't want shoes that are kind of pushing up like that from below. So I've got rid of those shoes now and that made a big difference. The next thing to do is to cut the toenail out of the corner there. Right now, so here is a close up of my toe. I've actually just had a shower so my nails are quite not, uh, nice and soft at the moment and I'll show you the offending part of the toenail. You can see as I've cut it along here I've neglected to cut the bit under the skin and it's actually sticking forward into the skin. Now if I lift that up slowly you'll be able to see now there's a sharp edge that's in there and that is what is cutting into the skin and causing the pain. Okay, so your toe will probably be a little bit similar to that, or it might be worse. This has just started to get sore, and I've left it deliberately so I can do this video and show you how to fix it. So here then are my usual toenail clippers. And what I've got is, on the back of them here, there used to be a little tiny nail file. And I've got that nail file out. And it's just a little tiny thing, uh, quite thin. And the advantage of this is that I can actually get it in under the nail there and I can round that corner. Uh, I can round the corner off so it's not causing any trouble. Now you'll remember in my previous video what I would do is I'd put my fingernail under and I would just scrape that corner off with a strong nail. Uh, that works really well but today I'd like to show you a different technique. Um, if you can't really get your finger under there you can use a little nail file like this. Right, so here is the zoomed in version of the corner of my toe there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip that little nail file, you can see I've got the rough edge up, under that corner and just sand down that sharp edge that I showed you before. So if I just push it under there, you can see the offending edge and you can see why it's digging into the skin as I've got that sharp edge there. So if you've got a very sore toe, this will be quite hard to do. And what you want to do is push the skin down on this side and lift up the toe on the other side here. Okay, so I'll just uh, start working away on that and I might zoom out so you get a better picture. Right, so I'm going to push that skin down and lift this corner up to get that sharp edge out from in the corner there. And then I can put the nail file in under there and I can begin just filing away to get a nice rounded corner and that will prevent it from sticking into the skin.
So you can see here I've got right on to that sharp corner bit and I can gradually grind that down to a nice round circle. So keep going until you've got a nice clean edge with no sharp bits and then you'll find once you let it go and let the skin go back in it won't be able to cut into your skin there. So remember you've really got to lift this toenail up and hold that skin down to actually get access to the corner bit that we'll be digging in. And then you've got to get your uh, fingernail or your file right down in there to sand off that sharp edge that's in there. Right, so as you can see now, I have sanded down that sharp edge that can get caught in there, and I've done that with this little nail file here. Uh, I'm going to clean this out now and then trim the rest of the nail and you'll be able to see the end product. So here then is the finished product. So you can see I've trimmed the rest of the nail pretty much straight across but I've also trimmed the bit in under here uh, where it can do the damage. So if I am to sort of lift that up I've got a nice rounded edge in there and it's not going to dig in as it grows out. If I had to just cut it and left that bit it would have kept growing into the skin and you get a very sore edge there. So previously it was getting a bit sore to touch but now I can push in there quite hard and there's no pain at all because I don't have that sharp edge cutting in. Right, so that brings us to the end of another video. Uh, so today we treated, uh, well, an ingrowing toenail and we've prevented it from cutting into the skin using one of these teeny little nail files. Last time I did it with my finger, my fingernail. Uh, you can also use clippers if you like, but I thought I'd show you how to do it a different way today. Um, I've been doing it this way for quite a while using the little nail file, and I found it to be really effective. It's actually quite hard to sort of reach into that little gap, so um, it can be a little bit easier using one of these. So I hope that helps you, and I hope that uh, there's no more ingrown toenails out there on YouTube. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you again. Bye.